You are now listening to the Circle Up Podcast with host Nick Izzo, only on the KSN, the Kaizen Sports Network. I just put a hundred down, bet it on my room to go, bet it on my room to go, I just put a hundred down. Hey, howdy, hey, heard faithful. This is the Circle Up Show here on the Kaizen Sports Network. I, as always, am your faithful host, Nicholas Izzo. We got a whole lot of herd business to get to, and I don't want to wait another minute, so we're going right to it. Big news out of the organization. The Summit Interest Meeting has been scheduled September 4th, 2022. Write it down, 9-4-22 is the herd interest meeting. If you're thinking about coming out, coaching, playing, whatever, just want to familiarize yourself with the organization, this is the place to do it. Uh, location still to be announced, so keep an eye out for that, both here for news and or the Garden State Herd Instagram for updates on that. If you're still on the fence about you know the guys, the coaches, the organization, which you shouldn't be, it's fantastic, but if you are, it's a fantastic opportunity to come out and check things out for yourself. On the coaching front, news on the offensive side of the ball. The Herd has hired offensive coordinator Keith Anderson, formerly the Pit Bulls and the Central Jersey Knights. Uh, Keith has a ring as an offensive coordinator, so some serious pedigree there. We're excited to have him come on. Uh, Coach Wayne Dabney was quoted as saying, he's a great friend of mine and we share the same interests when it comes to building a program. He's going to fit in with this staff simply because he's a football guy and he'll be surrounded by football guys. He believes in the details, and that was what made the choice an easy one for myself and the guys upstairs. I mean, listen, you know, great news there. We talked pretty heavily about how the offense was a weak point for this team last season. Seems like they're making the right moves to try and change that for the years to come. So looking forward to the new offensive identity to see what uh, offensive coordinator Anderson brings to the table. We got a whole lot more to get to, including a Herd Banquet Awards show wrap up, and we will get all to it right after this. The lion isn't the king of the jungle because he's the fastest or the strongest. He has to earn it. Spring 2023, minor league football gets the facelift it deserves. Full league stats, stream games, no politicking, no talking your way to the chip. You have to earn it. Welcome to the den. I just put a hundred down. It's KSN. It's the Circle Up Show, and we're going to roll on. So the Garden State Herd first annual end-of-season banquet is in the books. The awards have been passed out. The delicious food has been eaten. And when it all shakes out, it's a solid roster of deserving individuals who came away with awards, and we're going to run right through them. Offensive MVP goes to Joey Colello. Not a huge surprise here. Joey's a workhorse, a fantastic player, great leader on and off the field. Pretty cool moment. Uh, his dad was actually able to present him with the award, and, uh, of course, they got it all on film, which is awesome. Head on over to the Garden State Herd Instagram, at Garden State Herd, to check out the presentation. Additionally, The assistant coach of the year was awarded to defensive backs coach Josh Bell. Here's what Josh had to say on winning the award. This was my first year actually stepping up and doing some coaching. And it felt good to, you know, be out there with you guys and be motivated to see, you know, guys grow, coaches trusting each other, building relationships that, you know, we're family for the rest of our lives with this. So, roll her. Love to hear it. It's a very deserving winner there. The defensive back core. Uh, was very well coached, obviously, this season, as was the entire defense. Uh, as you move that way, the defensive MVP award presented by D-line coach Dominic Barbetta was also announced, and it went a little something like this. This young man is the definition of never back down. Whether he's against a mountain or a mouse, he shows every opponent the same respect by going full speed and never letting up. German Pimento... The 6'6 goblin with a swim move like a dolphin. <laughs> Some glowing words there from his coach as German Penental was presented with the defensive MVP award. 
There were even more awards to get to you, and we're going to get right to them right on the other side of this break. We'll be right back. It's that time again to lace up the cleats, tape your hands, and play football. Yes, football. We're back in 2023, and the Garden State Herd, you heard me, the Garden State Herd looks to improve on their 4-4 record. And Sports Network, as we run through these Herd Awards for these wonderful individuals we move up to the kaizen and bronson awards respectively the kaizen award presented by defensive coordinator juan de pena let's go to that clip from coach juan just kind of getting us into what the award means and setting us up award for me is probably the most important award for this entire team it goes beyond what you do on the football field the kaizen award is given to the player who demonstrates what it is to be the garden state herd a person who's going to take care of his teammates, who's going to help the coaching staff, who is going to do everything he can to make this team successful. This particular individual and him and I have a long history. That particular individual, of course, being Mr. Keyshawn Justo Hannibal Ray. Very deserving individual. Glad he was able to receive that in the first year of the herd, especially with Kaizen being the main philosophy, so definitely an honor for him there. Moving on, the most improved award went to Mr. Tevin Peters, a player who really grinded a lot this season, was really able to show some serious improvement to the point that, you know, he got an award for it, and the man deserved it. You know, we look forward to seeing what he can contribute to this team moving forward. Uh, the all-important Bronson Award, a serious presentation and a speech that I could not do justice here. Uh, please feel free to go over to the Garden State Herd Instagram at Garden State Herd to check out the full speech from head coach Wayne Dabney. It was given to Mr. D.K. Daryl Kennedy Jr., uh, another well-deserved award for a fantastic player and a great leader on this squad. And y'all know what it is. Next, we've got Hoofbeats coming up right after this. KSN 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 Sports 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 Get in the game Let's get in the game Get in the game Sports Network It's Circle Up And those Are the hoofbeats Before we get to The professional Sports league We've got the league Of all leagues Playing now Fall time uh, Some quick scores From action This past week The Vikings Won 12-6 In overtime Against the Assassins The Hawkeyes With a 27-0 Victory over the Thunder the Panthers 12-6 in overtime over the Tigers. The Ducks up 28-0 over the Eagles. And the Sharks, heavy, heavy roster with herd players, uh, winning 36-20 over the Owls. A lot of teammates there working on their chemistry, working on their craft, and bringing it back to the herd for the spring. So you love to see the dedication there. Additionally, as we move around the leagues, Yankees maintain their first place lead in the AL East with an 8-2 win over the Kansas City Royals. The Mets continue their dominance as well in the NL East with a 4-0 win over the Marlins. Jets receiver Braxton Berrios made headlines by essentially saying playoffs are bust for the Jets this year. Uh, essentially missing the playoffs would be considered a failure by the team, or at least by the players. And the Giants continue to move through their initial camps. And we watch the wrestling world's reaction to CEO and Vince McMahon stepping down after 40 years as chairman and CEO of WWE. Obviously amid some allegations there, but definitely a dramatic shift in the landscape of professional wrestling. That will about do it for this absolutely jam-packed episode of Circle Up. Please keep yourselves tuned in to us and the Kaizen Sports Network. Make sure you are keeping up with Curtis as well, a new show that will be featured on our network. Make sure you're checking out the Garden State Herd Instagram. You can find us on the reels, on the web, on Spotify. We are everywhere and only going further. In the meantime, this has been Circle Up. I have been Nick Izzo. This is the Kaizen Sports Network. And as always, roll her roll. You've just heard the Circle of Podcasts with Nick Izzo on the KSN 
the Kaizen Sports Network. To hear more, log into Spotify and search up the Kaizen Sports Network. Roll Herd Roll.